living legend, the British singer, songwriter, the living legend, Mr. Tunde. Give it up! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Something quite spiritual about it, I think. Yeah? Yeah, because, I mean, these are temples, right? Yes, exactly. So, there is definitely a spiritual vibe. And like I said when I was out there, to be honest with you, a lot of the kind of songs that we do yeah. have a spiritual... Yes, yes, yes. Effect, aff yeah, affection. Absolutely. Yeah. It had a sort of Buddha, images of the Buddha. Oh, really? Yeah, and They must be beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. But this, this is the real, <laughs> the real thing. See, you guys, <laughs> Mr. Tunde said it was the most, most beautiful. Most beautiful. Most beautiful background yeah. of his venue yeah yeah absolutely it was blue sky in your head yes it was at album. 2019 yes. and then why does it take 18 years uh, until whatever gets you <laughs> through the day yeah this is always the issue with lighthouse family it's like I don't know we just we'll make a record and then there'll be a bit of a apart from our first two records which was like two or three years okay. in between. and you know when you're looking at the list of dates you have to do it looks like a oh long, yeah 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 you think, oh you're starting we've got like a whole month and a yeah. bit to but just one show at a time, yeah, because it was so enjoyable yeah. and a lot of fun. Yeah, it just slowly, we just took it one day at a time. Yeah, Really enjoyed the experience. And then by the time we finished, it was like both a feeling of, oh, that was great. That was like, great. We wanted to do some more as well as, oh. <laughs> as, as, you know, <laughs> Hai guys, balik lagi sama gue Nara di Event Talks dan sekarang gue lagi ada di Backstage Permanent Jazz 2023 dan kita sekarang ada di Day 6 yang dimana ini adalah hari terakhir dari Permanent Jazz langsung aja sekarang gue udah ketemu sama salah satu living legend the British singer, songwriter, the living legend, Mr. Tunde Give it up! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you How are you? You just perform and you're here doing interview, how are you man? Yeah, I'm good, it was a nice feeling yeah. Um, going out there and everybody's singing along and so it's always a good feeling when you get that sort of response. And the other thing is because we, we, we got in here yesterday so it's a long flight oh, really? from London and you know everybody was a little bit you know because it takes a bit of yeah, time to yeah. adjust so doing something like that is a good thing it just gives you a yeah. lot of energy and so but yeah I, I enjoyed it it was a lot of fun. How, how do you deal with the jet lag? I mean, London, it has a different time, so yes. how, do you, how, how do you handle it? Nothing, nothing you can do other than just try and sleep. I mean, before we came here, yeah. I thought I was going to lie down on my bed yeah. in the hotel yeah. for just five minutes. Yeah. I ended up falling asleep for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> and so, then, yeah. yeah, you did great with yeah, two hours of sleep. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And I saw you on your Instagram, um, mm. you said that you were looking forward to this event. Yes. And how do you feel to actually being able to perform in Pramanan Jazz with the background of the beautiful uh, Chandi yeah. Prambanan. How does it feel? It, there's something quite spiritual about it, I think. Yeah? Yeah, because, I mean, these are temples, right? Yes, exactly. So, there's definitely a spiritual vibe. And like I said when I was out there, to be honest with you, a lot of the kind of songs that we do yeah. have a spiritual... Yes, yes, yes. Effect, aff yeah, affection. Absolutely. That, yeah. it, that's where it comes from, really. Yeah. Songs like high and lifted. Really, they're spiritual songs, almost like singing hymns. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. like the worship yes. prayer. Yeah. It's just in a modern sort of form. So yeah, it was it was good. I I wasn't expecting to see when we got in this afternoon. I didn't know that we were going to be. Like oh, you're doing a tour? Well, no, no. I knew we were going to be doing this, but I didn't know that it was going to be right next to these temples. Oh yeah, so, yeah. So it was kind of a yeah. It was it an is, experience. Yeah. Yeah, and it fits into exactly the type of stuff. Yeah. That we Have you ever been like doing this kind of performance like with the, this kind of background? Not really. I think really. this is the first time we're doing something like that. So I mean, we've done a few shows that, like because I just finished doing a UK tour and one or two of the venues that we played at had a sort of Buddha, images of the Buddha. Oh really? Yeah. And they must be beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's really nice. But this, this is the real, <laughs> the real thing. See, you guys, <laughs> Mr. Tunde said it was the most, most beautiful. Most beautiful. Most beautiful background. Yeah of his venue, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. 100%. And then your last song with Lighthouse Family was Blue Sky In Your Head. Yes. It was at album. 2019. Yes. And then why does it take 18 years uh, until whatever gets you <laughs> through the day? Yeah. This is always the issue with Lighthouse Family. It's like, I don't know, we just, we'll make a record and then there'll be a bit of a, apart from our first two records, which was like two or three years okay. in between. A lot of the other ones just took big gaps. And, and that's the reason why I just wander off and go and make solo records. Yeah. So 
I've been fortunate enough to be able to do that, you know, kind of make my own records that are not Lighthouse Family albums. I mean, it still comes from the same place, really. Yes. So I'm fortunate, like for yeah. me as an artist, I've been constantly doing stuff. I think I've made three or so solo records, records now, yeah. in between those Lighthouse Family records. Oh, and enough. the other thing is that I made, I've got another record, a solo record coming yeah. out, either sometime this year or early next year. We're looking, looking so, forward to it. Yeah, so. that's something yeah. to look forward to. Like I mean, when when I uh, when I hear you say that, I think uh, musicians really do need space and time. So yes. like, when you have that those whatever those condition, yes. I think yeah, I think I think that's a good thing good that thing, you wonder yes. if so I because agree. your creativity has to yes. yeah, you know yes. what I mean. I and then I heard that you just finished your the Awake tour 2023. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to f actually like finish the tour and all? That Amazing! Stuff? It was yeah. really good, really nice. We like when we started because the tour started, I think, towards the end of, of uh, May, May 26th or 28th of May, something okay. like that. And you know, when you're looking at the list of dates you have to do, it looks like a oh, long, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Think, oh, you're starting, we've got like a whole month and a yeah. bit to, but just one show at a time, yeah, because it was so enjoyable yeah. and a lot of fun, yeah. It just slowly we just took it one day at a time, yeah, really enjoyed the experience. And then by the time we finished, it was like both a feeling of oh, that was. Great. That was like, great. I wanted to do some more as well as, oh, as, as, you know, as, as, I always say like it's relief. relief. Yeah, it's a relief. Is a good emotion yeah. to feel. But it's like so, a yeah. satisfying relief. So. Satisfaction, yes. Like, yeah, so. I saw like a few artists having like one year tour and I was like, yo, mm -hmm. how, how, do, how do they do that? That would, that would be difficult. Yeah. I mean, we've done some of those as Light as Family. In the early days, we did like, you know, three months tours. It's just nonstop. To, uh, like, really? Yeah, arenas and stuff like that. It's, it's hard work. You need to stay disciplined and focused mm. in order to be able to get through it. And also, and also, you have to be fit as well. Yeah. And your nutrition has to be right and all Absolutely. that. Absolutely, all that stuff. Uh, and then, uh, will there any be Asia tour in the future? Maybe in Indonesia? I, I would love to do something like that. We are really looking forward. To it. Right now, when uh, just after the awake tour that we finished, when I, you know, because you get feedback from all yep. over the world, yeah. people that love Latin family and love all exactly. People say, no, when are you coming to Brazil? <laughs> when are you coming to Indonesia? When are you coming to like, I don't know, Australia, all these sort of places. So we plan to do all of that. Oh, really? Oh, yes, absolutely. But it's just, you know, it, it just takes time to organize and arrange yeah. all those things. So, but yeah, that's that would be definitely something that I look forward to doing. I'd love to do. Just go around the world and just, you know, playing your music. And when you make tour in the future, please add Indonesia to the list. I will. Because we are really looking forward to it and I'm speaking representatively okay. to the nation. Yeah, thank absolutely. you so much for your time thank and you for it's really me. nice to meet you. You're such a humble guy. Thank you. Guys, please like and subscribe dan YouTube uh, the YouTube event review and Gonara peace out. Thank you.